Emma Haslam. Can I ask your age, Emma? I'm 27. OK. And where are you from? I'm from Derby. Are you married? Yeah, I'm married, and I've got a three-year-old daughter. And I see a pole. I see a skimpy outfit. I'm trying to promote pole fitness is not for the usual sizes. I'm, obviously, I'm a bigger lady. And I'm just hoping that people all just see that I'm good at what I do. All right, Emma, best of luck. get up there and have such good body confidence is a massive example to girls all over this country. Don't care what size you are, you're brilliant at what you do. I'm going to kick this off with a yes. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. Four yeses. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. Thank you. What's your name? Asanda. And how old are you? Eleven. Eleven years old. <laughs> wow. She's oh, very cute. Lovely. Now, are you going to sing? Today? Yes. Who are the stars that you really look up to? You like to be like? Beyonce. <laughs> I'm often compared to Beyonce. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a diva. <laughs> Listen to Beyonce and Rihanna, they're like my inspiration. Like Beyonce, when she's on stage, she brings Sasha Fierce. Mm -hmm, girlfriend, you know what I'm talking about? Like, please. Music is everything to me. When I'm singing, I just feel magic. Asanda sings around the house, she just cannot stop. Even sometimes when she does her homework, it's a struggle because I have to tell her, listen. It's not time for singing now, Asanda. It's time, time to, to do your homework. If I got the chance to sing one of the Queen, maybe I could teach her how to have a little bit of an inner diva and the Queen can teach me how to <laughs> Take it away. Good luck. Thank you. Here we go. Some write like a tongue Some write like a diamond Oh, she's got some moves, has she? She's got some moves! You're a shooting star, I see A vision of ecstasy When you hold me I'm in love You're a diamond in the sky At first sight I felt the energy Of something I saw the light Inside your eyes Keep in love You're in love You're beautiful Like diamonds
I cannot believe my eyes. You know, when you are on the money, your voice yeah. is incredible. Thank you. I can hear you on a record already. You're 11 years old. You were like a little diamond. I, I, I lost the words. I mean, I kept laughing because you're just like, it's just ridiculous. And you've got all the moods. Sandra, you know, I, we've had a lot of people your age over the years performing. I've never seen anyone who's got such amazing stage presence for an 11 year old. Thank you. I mean, seriously, seriously good. And you have the best smile I have ever seen. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to vote. David, yes or no? It was phenomenal. I'm going to say yes. Thank you. Good. A massive yes from me. Thank you. Amanda? It's a yes from me. Cassandra? You have four big fat yeses. Yes. Come here. Well done. Where did that come from? My parents. <laughs> oh, Watson, you've got two very proud parents behind you. She made, he was nearly crying, your dad behind me. And quite right. Hold them. <laughs> hold them back. Well, listen, how are you going to celebrate now? Have McDonald's. Yeah! I like the sound of that. Good girl. Yay! Yay! Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, that's very nice of you to say. Um, so, what are your names, boys? Uh, my name's Charlie. And my name's DeAndre. And uh, together we're Baz and Melody. Bam. What's the dream with you two guys? I just want to deliver it to you people. I just want to give an awesome performance. I get you. I get you. What does your mum and dad do for it? For a job. My mother's a uh, personal trainer and my father's a stonemason. Stonemason! <laughs> yeah, bro! And you? My mum's a cook in a school. Dinner lady, yo! And, um. <laughs> um, my stepdad, he owns his own company. He's a businessman, yeah! <laughs> Can I just say one thing? Alicia, I love you so much. You're my inspiration. He fancy Alicia. He don't like Amanda. Amanda, you're beautiful as well. He is lying! Um, boys, can I just ask you, uh, what are you singing? Well, it's uh, Hope by Twist and Faith Evans, but it's a bit of a twist in the rap because I wrote it myself. What's the song about? It's about anti-bullying. Uh, so, anti-bullying? Yeah, because it's something that I feel deep about. So. I started rapping because I went through a very hard time in primary school. I was getting bullied. As a parent, it's one of the hardest things to see your child upset and going through emotional turmoil. It is hard, very hard. When I used to be like down in the dump, I used to write down my raps. I could express myself through what I was writing down. I was very happy with the way the Andre dealt with it. They actually stood up to the bully and resolved the situation. I moved to school and uh, it's a much better environment for me. I love school. <laughs> I really do love school, it's amazing. I'm very proud of him, very proud. The first time we met, we really clicked. It was just an automatic connection. Like, I didn't think it would be like that. We're brothers. I think music's made him a lot stronger. If it wasn't for his music, he wouldn't be as confident and as cheeky, you know? It, it just helps him a lot. We really want people to listen and um, hear our lyrics that are in our song. OK, good luck. Thank you. Please help 
Oh my God, I feel so alone. I'm just a kid. How can I take it on my own? I'm crying too many tears. Yeah, writing this song, trying to fit in where do I belong? I wake up every day, don't wanna leave my home. My mama's asking me, but I'm always alone. Too scared to say, too scared to holler. I'm walking to school with sweat around my collar. I'm just a kid. I don't want no stress. My nerves are bad. My life's a mess. The nature call me, they hurt real bad. I wanna tell my mom she having trouble with my dad. I feel so trapped. There's nowhere to turn. Come to school, don't wanna fight, I wanna learn. So please, Mr. Bully, tell him what I've done. You know I have no dad. I'm living with Just my mom. Be hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful for today. Take this music, yeah. if you sit, let it take you. Away. I like these ten. It's okay, just be home. Why be a trip back a single day? I didn't have to be born, but now I have to pay. I ain't got no money, you take all I have. When they give it to you, I sit through my bags. I feel so scared when you shout me down. You kick me, punch me, throw me to the ground. When I ask you, yo, what have I done? You hit me again, I make fun of my mom. Hopeful, yes I am. Yeah. Hopeful for today. Take this music. Check it out. Music. Let it take you away and be hopeful. Uh. hopeful. And he'll make a way. I know it ain't easy, but that's okay. Just be hopeful. What I wear is all I oh, have. No. We lost a home. I'm living from a bag. Yo, Mr. Bully, help me, please. I'm flesh and blood. Accept me, please. Hey, Mr. Bully, I don't know what to do. My mind can't explain what it did to you, Mr. Bully. Take it ah, please. I want to see you. You bring me to my knees. Oh, yes, I am. Oh. Oh, for today, take this music and you sit, let it take you away and be hopeful, yeah. hopeful, and they'll make a way. I know, I know it ain't easy, but that's okay, just be hardly need to uh, <laughs> critique you went so well, but let's have some uh, comments, Amanda. I'm just so happy for you. Your voice is beautiful. We all were in tears. So well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. The minute you started that verse, it actually brought a tear to my eye. It was really, really moving. Alicia, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be rapping, so, yeah, thank you so much. Oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> Two young kids like yourself to come out and, and sing about something that really affects you, do it in a style that's completely yours, is a really rare thing. That's why you got that golden buzzer today. Thank you so much. Well, you know what? I've heard of so monstrous songs today, and I just was literally <laughs> losing the will to live. But you know what? I listened to every word. Did this stuff happen in your life? I got bullied a bit when I was younger, but... But not anymore? Yes, so it's all gone now, yeah. I think that record could be a hit, I really do. I really, really like you two. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's it, we'll see you in the live show. Thank you, so Thank you for this amazing opportunity. Oh, you think, yeah. Come here. 
<laughs> Come here, oh you two. Oh, my God. Oh, great. Well, thank you, guys. Have fun. Enjoy. Hello. Hello there. What's your name? James Moore. How old are you, James? I'm 24. Is this what you do full-time, or do you have a day job? This is now full-time for me. I've been doing it. It's a bit of magic since I was eight. Simon loves magic. I know how much he loves it. I do like magic when it's good. OK. OK. Best of luck. Definitely going to say yes. Four big fat yeses. Congratulations. <laughs> What's your name? Darcy Oak. Darcy, where are you from? I'm from Canada. Are you living in the UK or are you? I'm not. No, I came here just for this. So. How old are you, Darcy? I'm 26. And what got you into? the act that you're doing today? When I was a kid, actually, I had hopes and dreams of becoming a doctor, but my parents insisted that I become a magician. So, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> my name is Darcy Oak, I'm 26, and I specialize in sleight of hand and illusions. I've loved magic for forever. When I was a kid, my dad was messing around with cards, I pick one, he pulled it out, and it was my card. I experienced that feeling of like, how did you do that? And I wanted to do that to other people. Now, say the magic words. Abracadabra. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm auditioning for Britain's Got Talent because it's the biggest talent show in the world. And I want to be performing on a global scale. And I feel that if it goes well, it can change my life. I'm going to go out on that stage and I'm going to do what I've practiced my whole life. And Hopefully they like it. All right, wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much.
You're Callum, Jade's brother. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, well, tell us a little bit about yourself, please. I'm 26, I'm from Hull, uh, and I'm singing a cover of a song by Robin. I love Robin. Yeah. It's dancing on my own, but it's a bit slower. Okay, whenever you're ready, good luck. <clears throat> Thank you. Somebody said you got a new friend And does she love you better than I can? And there's a big black sky over my town I know where you're at, I bet she's around Stilettos and broken bottles I'm spinning around in circles And I'm in the corner Watching you kiss her oh, oh, oh. And I'm right over here Why can't you see me? Oh, oh, oh. And I'm giving it my Far away, but still so near The lights come on, the music dies But you don't see me standing here I just came to say goodbye I'm in the corner watching you kiss her oh. And I'm giving it The music dies, but you don't see me standing here. Well, I'm Thank you so much. Oh my god, Simon! Callum! You are...
Mr Methane, I am a performing flatulist. And... Just do it. OK, certainly. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put the art into fart. First of all, I just have to adopt the uh, farting position. <sighs> OK. <laughs> you pick... Who's that? That was a good one. Music master! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not using that microphone after him. Thanks. You are a disgusting creature. Shall I go? Sure, Mr. Methane blew it. Thank you very much. <laughs> have you not seen that before? No. No, oh, I have. Oh, go check your shots on the way out. Okay, <laughs> thanks, guys. I think I will do. I'm Natalie and I'm 10 years old. And I love to sing. Some kind of superstar. I've been singing ever since I was four. I sing at school, I sing at home. I sometimes sing when I'm eating my dinner. <laughs> I would like to be a singer and a diva. <laughs> and I definitely want to be like Beyonce. <laughs> Hello, darling. Hello. Could you be any cuter? What's your name and how old are you? My name's Natalie and I'm ten years old. OK. <laughs> and what are you doing today? Well, I'm going to sing a song called No One from Alicia Keys. OK, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know that one. Does she sing all the time? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, it drives you crazy? Yes, You've yes. had enough? I oh, see so you're trying to palm her off on us now, is that what yes. it is? <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, darling. Good, nice to meet you. Uh, what's the act called? Uh, Charlotte and Jonathan. Charlotte and Jonathan. OK. Um, uh, how old are you both? I'm 16. And I'm 17. OK. Um, and, and you thought the combination would work. Whose idea was it? Um, it was our singing teachers, actually. She thought it'd be good to try us out together. <laughs> and we both sounded quite good when we sang what we did. OK, you're not saying much, Jonathan. <laughs> are you shy? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> I've always had sort of problems with my size since, like, I can remember. 
and when I was in sort of primary school, it was back then really that I had sort of the mick taken out of me, and it, it kind of damaged my confidence quite a bit. When when people would say something to me, I'd just it just take a little piece out of me in a sense. I'm quite protective of Jonathan. Like, if someone, if I was there and someone stood there and said something to him, I wouldn't sit. I couldn't sit there with my mouth shut. Before you make a judgment on someone, I think you really need to get to know them. It's not. It's cliches, it's not judging a book by its cover. You've got, you've got to read what's inside. Charlotte's been a really big help for me in terms of confidence and making me a better performer. And I really don't think I'd be going up on stage today if I didn't have Charlotte by my side. And do you think you could win? Yeah, together. Yeah. All right, good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. that you can move an audience like that. You sing beautifully together. It was world class. Thank you very much. Thank you. A pop voice and an opera voice together. It was incredible. OK, this is what I think. As Charlotte, I think you're good. But, Jonathan, you are unbelievable. You have an outstandingly good voice. Thank you very much. How old are you? 17. I mean, that's unbelievable. Jonathan, you are a future star. Thank you. I like the fact that this works as a duo, but I worry, Charlotte, whether you're going to hold him back. Well... We've come on here as a duo, and we're going to stay here as a duo. Okay, David, we better vote, yes or no? Oh, 
such an easy decision, yes. Thank you. Definitely a yes from me. Charlotte, I think your voice compliments Jonathan's really well, so don't be disheartened. It's a yes from me. You know, my head here would say to you, Jonathan, dump her. <laughs> and then my heart would say there was something kind of magical at moments together as well. So I'm going to say yes to the two of you. You've got four years. <laughs> <laughs> well done! Well done, Paul. He's like a young Pavarotti, that yeah. boy. I haven't heard a voice yeah. like that in years. Yeah. To be that young and that good. Simon's a massive fan of you, <laughs> isn't he? Seems like it, yeah. That is the biggest response we've had today. Well. Oh my god. Oh. Well done, my pal. Do you think it could be life changing? Life changing? Well, yeah, to be honest. I think yeah. for you. Yeah. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Actually reminds me of a Little Britain sketch. <laughs> Please, could I have your names? I'm Paddy. Yeah, I'm Nico. And um, what is the nature of your relationship? It's, it's a professional one. And m might we ask you your age? I will be 80 this July. Do you think you can win this show? Oh, it would be very nice, but just as long as people enjoy what we're doing and we give people pleasure, that's the main thing. OK, well, best of luck. Wow! 
live shows. Oh my god, I'm so proud of you. I just thought that was incredible. Well done. Thank you. Absolutely incredible. Wow. Uh, well, look, I apologize uh, for what I did because I did obviously buzz a little early. But this is before all the crazy things happened, you know? It, it was all kind of like slow and normal, and then it all went ballistic. It was extraordinary. You're an amazing example to older people because you've shown that. However old you are, you can still be spectacular and beautiful and do something amazing. She can, all people can. If you want, you can. How did you get into dancing? I had been a dancer from the age of two and a half, like lots of little girls, and I gave it up to get married. I had four children. Then when did you pick up dancing again? I went to live in Spain with my husband, and unfortunately, after 18 months, he died. And for something to do, I went to Nico's Dance Academy to learn something totally different. And this is the result. My grandmother is 93 years old, and I just kept thinking of her when you were being thrown around that. <laughs> that man and um, I think she would have wanted me to press my buzzer for you as well so me and my nan are going to be right behind you and I hope you win Britain's Got Talent. The fact that you did it for all those years and then and then had your lovely children then lost your husband you gave up so much. Well when I started to do this I spoke with the family and I said what do you think? And they said, well, you gave everything up to have us look after Dad, and he would be proud. Yes, he would. Paddy, you are my hero. Like, you are unbelievable. I pray to God that I am like you when I'm your age. I don't want to sound patronising, but we have to just say it as it is. That is something I've never seen before. I'm so pleased that Amanda has pressed her button. And do you know what? We don't have to vote. And if you have a minute, Hello. Hello. Who are you? Uh, I'm Lewis Codling. Hello, Lewis. Where are you from? Uh, I'm a London boy. London. And how old are you? I'm 27. I'm just singing for you today. Oh, you're singing today? OK, brilliant. Good luck.
Actually, have me fooled. Thanks. Yeah, you're a very good actor. Where where do you guys normally perform in gig? We just literally put the whole show together. I got a really dry mouth. This one. David wants. Do you want to give him some water? David. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Shaka Rudin, but people call me Junior. Junior. Yeah. How old are you, Junior? I'm 17. What are you going to do for us today? I'm going to be dancing. OK, so what got you into dance? Well, um, in the past, I've had some behavioural issues, and, like, I've been dancing, like, for a long time now, okay. and it's really helped me grow as a person and get better, so... I'm really, really nervous today. This is like the biggest performance I've ever, like, I'm ever gonna do. I've come a really long way. Now I have the chance to prove myself and show my family who I am. I've been waiting for this for a long time, and like I feel like it's a must. I have to do it. When I was at school, like I used to struggle a lot with the work. I would feel like if I'm getting a bad grade, I can't do better. Like I would just feel like I'm like a dumb kid or I'm just not smart enough. I felt like misbehaving was like the only option. I used to get in a lot of trouble, got excluded a few times. I was in a bad situation. When I started dancing, it actually gave me like so much confidence and I got people praising me and saying good things about me rather than being in school messing about. But like I've been training every day, man. So like hopefully like it all pays off. When I am dancing, I feel free. I can just like tell you a story, I can talk to you. Dancing has saved me from going down a completely different road. I can imagine if I wasn't dancing, like, I don't know where I would be today. OK, good. The stage is yours.
It's overwhelming. Alicia, what do you think? Do you know what? Usually that kind of thing cringes me out, but for some reason with you, it didn't at all. I couldn't take my eyes off of you. That was incredible. Thank you. I could see it in your eyes, what it meant to you, and all the negative things that you've obviously been through, you've now turned into a positive, because it was an amazing, very different performance to anything we've seen before. Thank you. I have to tell you, it's one of the most incredible things I've ever seen on this show. I mean, seriously. You're going to be talked about after this performance in Tenny. Thank you. I thought it was so brave of you to channel all your emotions and anger or feelings, whatever they might be, into a piece like that. And it really expands what we think dance can be. So it was incredible what you did. You should be very proud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we're going to vote. I'm going to kick this off with a yes. Junior, it's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. And make that for you. That was tremendous. Wow, well that done. was amazing. Well done, Commander. Well, I thought that was really, like you said, he was very brave. Yeah, it really meant a lot to him. Yeah, oh, definitely. What a brilliant thing. <laughs> Click on the button below and make sure you subscribe. Subscribe now. Go on, do it. And if you subscribe to the channel, my Simon will love you forever. You're going to love it. <laughs>